So, okay, in this video we are going to look at construction. We are going to be constructing a triangle. So, um, I have a question that we are going to use to help us to learn to construct. And the question reads, um, construct triangle ABC in which AB is 11 centimeters. Angle BAC is 60 degrees. AC is uh, 60 centimeters. So, um, the distance which they give us uh, first, the first distance, AB, is going to be our base. So what we are going to do is we are going to draw a straight line that is eight centimeter, 11 centimeters because they've said AB is 11 centimeters. So we place our ruler like that and we draw the distance which is uh, 11 centimeters. So the centimeters are this side. So I'll start from uh, the zero mark then just draw the distance which is 11 centimeters on 11 i pause i am going to label this one as um, my a b and this is 11 centimeters then the next part says um and angle b a c is 60 degrees so the angle opening from b and the angle is at a it has to be 60 degrees so I use my protractor to do that. So this is my protractor. I just press it on the, okay, let me just open this here so that I'm not uh, disturbed with my measurement. So I just place my protractor on A and I just make sure that this point here, this mark must sit on my last point here on A. So I will place it like that and just make sure that this uh, line here flashes out with, um, coincides with the line that I've just drawn. And then you, you, you will observe that there are two scales, one from the outside, the, the other one from the inside. So you go to the scale that is going to read zero with this line. So for me, it is the one inside. And I'm going to go all the way up to security. So my security is here. So I'm going to place a dot on, on security. Okay, I'm just going to place a dot on security. Then I am also told that the distance AC is uh, 60 centimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach out for my compass. I'm going to reach out for my compass because I'm told that the distance from A to where C is is uh, 6 centimeters. So I'm going to get my ruler, get my compass. And then I'm just going to open six centimeters. So this is, uh, I just open six centimeters like that. Okay, so this is six. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand on A and I'm just going to swing an arc. I may start from somewhere inside like that, just uh, swing an arc. Okay, so I'm just going to stand on the A and then swing an arc like that. Now, what I would do now after swinging an arc, I am just going to draw a straight line. Draw a straight line. I'll place my ruler as though when I draw a straight line, as though it will go to this point here, the one that I measured at 60 degrees. But then my straight line is just going to end in the arc like that. And then where this line ends, I'm just going to connect it to the other end of my triangle, which is this part. And I'm just going to connect it like that. Okay. So this is where my C is. And this distance is just 60 centimeters when this angle is uh, 60 degrees. Okay, so now I'm also told that I should measure and write down the length of BC, so the length of this distance BC. So, of course, to measure, we use uh, a ruler, and then I measure, this is approximately, because my ruler, you know, doesn't have those small divisions, so this is approximately um, 9.5 centimeters. So this distance is approximately 9.5 centimeters. So 
My part C says on the diagram, draw the locus of points within triangle ABC, which are within uh, triangle ABC, which are number one equidistance from AB and BC. So this type of equidistance where we are given letters like in this case uh, AB and uh, BC, we go to the common letter. So the common letter is B. So we are going to bisect the angle at B. So we bisect by using our compass. So you open the compass. And then what I'm going to do is just cut these lines that are coming to B. So I am going to swing an arc to just cut like that. So if I want, I can just maintain the same radius of the compass. And then I'm going to be now be standing on the lines which I just bisected. So I'll stand on this part here and then swing an arc from inside. And I'm just going to do the same from the other side and then do that. So I am interested in where these two arcs are crossing each other. I'm going to bring my ruler, place it from B. It should be on the middle part of B here. Then I'm going to draw a straight line passing through in between my two arcs which I've just drawn. So this is going to be like that. So this is my equidistance of B and from A, B, and B, C. So that's my equidistance. Then the next piece of the question says, also number two, equidistance from A and B. So equidistance from A and B. Now, I want you to notice the difference between the two types of equidistances. So the first one, where we're given like four letters, you go to the common letter, which is B, and then you bisect an angle at B. With this, this one, where we're just given two points like A and B, it means we have a straight line AB. Like in this case, we have this straight line AB. So what we're going to do is we stand on A, for example, and then we're just going to open more than half of the line AB. We open more than half of the line AB, so I think more than half could be something like this. Then I'm just going to swing an arc inside to cross like that. And I'm going to do the same with B. I'll stand on B and just swing an arc like that. So I am very much interested in where these two arcs are meeting, which is this point and also this point. And what I'm going to do now is get my ruler, place it. Now, since I am told that no, I'm not told whether it is within or it is outside. So I'm at three, but to draw, my straight line can even extend outside. But if we're told within, I was just going to draw a triangle, a straight line within the triangle. But in this case, there is no limit. So I'll just draw a straight line passing through uh, my point, and it will come out like that. So that's my equidistance of A and B. Next, we am told... Um, R is a point inside the triangle ABC such that it is equidistance from AB and the AC and equidistance from A and B. I label the point R. Now, I'm told this point, I'm being told where this point is found. This point called R, it is within, which means it is inside the triangle. Okay, the triangle ABC, and it is such that it is equidistance from AB and BC. So the equidistance of AB and BC is this straight line that we drew. Then the same point is also on the equidistance of A and B. So equidistance of A and B is this straight line which I drew. So that point is going to be at the point of intersection. So the two lines are intersecting at this point. So this is where my point R is going to be, and I just indicated. The next, um, the last part of the question says, another point uh, S within triangle ABC is such that it is nearer to AB than AC, and nearer to A than B, indicate clearly by shading the region in which S is going to lie. So the first they are saying this point is more closer to AB than AC. Closer to AB, my AB is this distance, closer to AB than it is to AC. Then the same point also is also near to point A than it is to point B. More close to point A than to point B. Um, now I indicate clearly by shading uh, 
the region where this ace is supposed to be found. So, first it has to be closer to AB than it is to, a, to AC, then closer to A than it is to, to B. So, that point, if I'm to shade, it can be somewhere here. This is where the point will lie, and I just indicate with the letter S. So, this is how you um, construct uh, a triangle. So, thank you.